everybody. This is Kathy Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. Now, this is not the barn quilt that I intended to put up for this coming Friday, but I'm running out of time, so I wanted to do something that wouldn't take that long. And I thought, well, why not show them a Christmas tree? I could do the Christmas tree video, and if you wanted to get a head start on drawing and painting your Christmas decorations or gifts, then you could go ahead and do that. But this is a real popular one that uh, when I taught classes, people really like to do this one and uh, they would choose it very often. So anyway, we're going to do this one today, but let me show you the one that I wanted to do and I just don't have the time. But I wanted to do this Harvest Sun, and I will do it next time. Because I already have it finished, so it's just a matter of drawing a pattern out. But I needed to do something that wouldn't take that long. So, we're going to do the Christmas tree today. But first, um, I wanted to show you, I have a couple other videos already up with fall themed barn quilts but there is also this tree of life on my channel as well that I did last year so I just wanted to to tell you if you're looking for that you can go um, go to my channel and just go down and you scroll down till it was about this time last year I guess that that's just one that you can find along with some of the other ones that I've done, like the fox. That's sort of a fall themed one too. And I didn't bring a picture of it with me. But anyway, let's get to doing this Christmas tree. Okay. So like I like I do all the time, I'm I'm drawing this pattern on a piece of paper. Now this is just wipe off board behind it. But this is eighteen inches. So all we need is 10 blocks. So 10 blocks over, 10 blocks up. So if you wanted to do a 24 by 24, your blocks are going to be 2.4 inches each. So for this 18 inch board, our blocks are going to be 1.8 inches. And I go to maniacs.info and I look it up and I just print it out. But I have it on a yard, a wooden yardstick, and that way I don't have to go back every time and look and uh, look it up or find that piece of paper or whatever. But anyway, we got to mark it off 1.8, and I'm going to do that with a black marker so you can see it, and I'll be right back. All I'm going to do is is mark it off and connect my tip marks. Okay, I had another bright idea while I was off camera. Now, I've got my blocks 1.8 inches. I've got 10 across and 10 up. All right. So then, to help us focus on the pattern, because this was white, I just put some of uh, that purple painter's tape around the edges, but it's not going to interfere with our uh, pattern at all. So what, what we need to do, you know, what I like to do is my border first. Now, I'm not going to mark it off because actually, if you, what did I do with that pattern? What did I do with the barn quilt? Oh, there you go. <laughs> you see the edges here? That's the pattern. So it's just black, red, black, red, all the way around. So that's the pattern for your border, if you want to make your border like that. So I'm just going to take this red magic marker and just mark that off. So that when I'm explaining where to put your marks for your tree, it'll probably be easier. Yeah. 
down so I can reach it. There you go. Made the boo boo. Is all right. All right. So there's our pattern. So we want to kind of focus on the center here. So just go to your the center. One, two, three, four, five, and put your little tick mark here. Then one, two, three, four, five. Put just put your little tick mark here so you can focus on the center. So when I'm talking about like going down and across and all that stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. So let me get this roller. Now we're going to just start at that center mark. And we're going to go down three. One, two, three. And over three. One, two, three. So we're in the middle and we went down three. And then we went over three. And we're just going to draw our line kind of making the outline of the tree now and I'll do that in red and then I'll come back and draw the blocks in the center of the tree in green now let's do that again over on this side go down three and over three and we're going to draw that line all right now we need to go down one block and over three. So one block down three and over three and it's a, it's right underneath that point. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, three and go over three. One, two, three. Now, part of your pattern here is your grid mark. So this is one part of the tree right here, and this is going to be another part. But on this one, we're going to go down one, and we're going to go down four. One, two, three, four, and over four. One, two, three, four. And our tick mark's going to be right up against that border. We're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, and over four. One, two, three, four. All right. And we're going to do the same thing again. here and we're going to go down four one two three four and over four one two three four so we're going to draw our line here and same thing over here go down four and over four all right now the bottom of the tree end up being here's your border so skip one and it's it's like the top of the second row that's the bottom of the tree now let's finish these in here the rest of them we're just going to go go down one and then go down to the next line so you go one two three and over three one two three and over three and here down two and over two down two and over two 
Yeah, so down one and over one. Down one and over one. So it's every every one of these from the center, go down one, there's your tick mark. See? There's your tick mark. And now let's finish the tree. Alright, so here is another branch. So I'm going to do the outline first for you. And then, then all the way down here. So you've got like four actual branches. See, one, two, three, four coming off of the tree. But here, here's what we need to do now so that we know where to paint. So I'm going to do these in green. And I think actually, you know, it might help be less confusing if while I'm drawing it, no, because that'll mess up your, that'll mess up your uh, pattern. I, I was thinking about coloring it in as I go. So anyway, just go back up to the top. We're going to go draw our line over these two. And then... Here and here. And actually, actually it's going to be the grid marks that we made is actually going to be on, not in the middle now. Don't let that confuse you. Not in the middle, except for this across here. But our grid line is going down here, all the way here and all the way here. Now, not in the middle, but we're going over to that, the next one. It's a simple pattern. It's just knowing where to draw it light and dark. So it does look like a Chris, it looks like Christmas with the red and green, don't it? Okay, here, so here's what we just got through drawing. These branches like this. That's what we drew just now. See? So you might want to go ahead and take your screenshot. And here is, and we went over to the mid, we went in the middle and went over one to the left, went over one to the right, and then right in the middle is where we put our tick mark for our trunk of the tree. See? Okay, now so that, make sure you take a screenshot of that and then take a screenshot of this. And so now what I'm going to do is get a different color green and I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, no. I tell you what let me do instead of coloring that in here's what I'll do these are dark and I'll just mark the dark ones so this is this is where I made the green lines is your grid now all right this one's gonna be dark this one is dark these two are dark. This is dark and this is dark. And we're going to go down to the here now. That's dark, dark, dark. This is dark, 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 and dark. All right. So, this is light. Let, let me make sure you're on track with me. 
See, that's dark. And then these two are light. See? And that's what... That's the way I'm marking them. And if I'm right in the middle of a grid line, then you know that goes all the way up here. And this is light, light, light. That's light. So they're light all the way across the bottom. So whatever colors you want to pick, and I'll show you mine, but whatever colors you choose, you just need a dark and a light. And it don't have to be that m much lighter. Okay, so... So this is brown. Now, I'll show you what I did. Here, I just started off black, red, black, red, black, red. It's that uh, plaid. That's all it is. So I'll just do black. I'll just start doing them for you. And when you take a screenshot of this, you'll know which ones is black. And, or you may want to do, you know, you could do purple and silver, whatever your Chris, favorite Christmas colors are. There's no rule that says you can't do it your way. Then I'm on. I'm gonna mark off them the grays too, but I just want to do this right quick. So we've got all of it marked before you take you another screenshot. Now I'm gonna try my best to get another video up next Friday. But I don't know that I will. But I'll try. I want to do that Harvest Sun if I can get time. Let me get two different shades of gray and I'll be right back. Okay, so we just got through marking off all of our black and red around here. And we're going to do the dark gray we're going to start here. So it's just every other one. I'm going to go back down here. See how that that, that'll confuse you if you're not careful when you're taping off. is gray. That's gray. This one's gray. I didn't have I didn't have two shades of gray. So with this uh, turquoise looking color, I'm gonna mark the other ones. So I that's the dark gray. So I'm just gonna put light gray here. I hope this is helping. Y'all think I just like marking, don't you? <laughs> so all the other ones are light gray. So 
there we've got it all marked. All right, now take you a good screenshot of that. Or when you get your pattern drawn off, you can, I guess you could pause this video and write it in yourself, but if you could take a screenshot and print it out, it'd be easier for you. All right. Got that. All right, now I'm going to lay this back up here and show you the colors that I used. Now, for my really dark green, I used Favorite Green. And someone told me that they couldn't find Favorite Green, but it is Valspar. I checked. It is Valspar. So there's this green. And then I used Sparkling Emerald for my lighter green. For black, I used Limousine Leather. Let me get them over here. And for my red, I use Showstopper, but you could use whatever your favorite black and reds are. And then for the trunk, I used Natural Bark. And for my grays, I used, I have used this bottle to death, I used Dark Gray was Gravity, and Lighter Gray was Silver Bullet. And there's, these are all Valspar. But, you know, like I say, you could use your favorite colors. You don't have to use what I use. And what else did I want to tell you? Oh, uh, be sure if you want the tree of life, go ahead and take you a screenshot of that, and you won't have to worry about trying to find it. But uh, you won't have to worry about the picture when you're trying to find it. But that's the picture that I have up on my... Uh, my channel. So just scroll on down to about this time last year and you'll find it and how to do it. And I can't remember if I, I don't remember if I put all the colors that I used or if I told what colors I used. I don't remember, but you know, just use a couple of different shades of green, a couple of different shades of, of an or, lighter orange and blues and yellows and browns. Uh, I had, I know that's red chipotle and red pepper. I think that's what those two were. But anyway, some kind of a brick color, dark brick color. And another, uh, back to this one now. You know, I just chase squirrels all the time. Back to this one. Here's the first one that I've done. So you see the difference in the, the blocks here. So this was sort of a, that's sort of a yellow and a darker, sort of a brownish yellow color. I can't remember now what color I actually used, but, and then there's the trunk. You could do the trunk like that if you wanted to. So you see, all right. Uh, I want to tell you one more time. If you like these bottles that I use, here's one without, I don't know if you can see it very well. Here's one without the paint in it. And it is uh, seven and a half ounces. And if you want some, just go to lolevefe.com, use code Kathy10 and get 10% off your order. I don't get any of that. She just was kind enough to give me a, a code. Now, they, it comes in smaller bottles, like this one's a four and a half ounce bottle. And then the, actually comes in these great big bottles, 16 ounce. And that's what I keep my uh, kills in. I think I've showed y'all that before. So anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. And I hope it'll be next Friday, but it may not. See y'all later. Have fun painting. Bye now.